In this video, I'll show you how to convert an IP address that's in IP4 format to binary. Now typically what you see when you're looking at an IP address is something that looks like this. And it's been written this way because it's a lot easier to read a decimal number than it is to read a binary number, which is how the computer reads it. So before I show you how to do this, I want to introduce a little bit of theory which you may find interesting. To connect to the internet, a computer or device must have an address, and it's either in the IP4 format or IP6 format. IP addresses for PCs, printers, and so on are in the IP4 format, but currently operating systems are capable of using IP6, and in a video after this one I'll demonstrate as to why that is. IP4 uses four binary octets, meaning that it is a binary number consisting of 32 bits, 32 zeros and ones, and it's divided into four. So you have four equal portions of eight bits, known as an octet. As mentioned, to make it easier for humans to work with, the IP address is presented as a decimal number, as opposed to one that looks like this. And if we break it up into eight bit units, like so, then convert each 8-bit octet to its decimal equivalent, we will end up with something that looks like this. So we already know the answer to this, it's shown right here, but I'm going to show you how to convert from these decimal numbers into the binary version. Let's go ahead and do that. Starting with 147, we'll take 147 and as shown in previous videos, to go from decimal to binary we divide by 2 divide this by 2, you should end up with 73.5. Now since there is a decimal number, we assume that there's a remainder. And if there's a remainder, we will read this as 1. Next we'll take the integer part, 73, and divide that by 2. That should give us 36.5. Another decimal, so we assume that there was a remainder. That's read as 1. We'll take 36, divide that by 2, we end up with 18. 18 is a whole number, there's no decimal, so obviously no remainder. That's red 0. 18 divided by 2 is 9. No remainder, so 0. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. That's red as 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Once again, no decimal, therefore no remainder. 2 divided by 2 is 1. No remainder. Reading that as 0. And you stop once you reach a number that is less than 1. So far we're at 1, so we need to do one more iteration. 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. To get this number, you'll have a remainder, so we'll write this as 1. And just like before, you read this up. So our number is actually 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And remember, this is our answer, so we can always look back to confirm and this matches this. So what you have to do technically is do this three more times. For the next number it would be 204, after that it's 14, and after that it's 72. Once you have all four converted, you'll end up with the binary number in which the computer can read. And so there you have it. That is how to convert IP4 address to binary.